So yeah, you can just barely see the laser going back and forth. See the little red flash? And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. So today's invention idea comes from something that I think people either love they hate or they just completely don't understand it at all. And I'm talking about TikTok. So for the past month, I kind of gotten really into TikTok. And if you aren't following me, be sure to go follow my TikTok account. But I saw a TikTok on there that inspired an idea that I want to try out today. So I came across this TikTok from a guy named Everett Williams. He does a lot of sort of fashion-based content. And he went to the Levi's store factory. I'm not quite sure what it was, but he made a custom pair of jeans using this special laser device they have. And that got me thinking a little bit. Bit. I have a Glowforge here, which is a laser cutter, which I've only used for wood so far. So I thought, let's try and stick some fabric in denim and make a brand new custom pair of jeans in a very unnecessary way. I'm gonna get into the design of what we're gonna be making with the jeans today, but first we gotta do some tests with the laser beams. So let's go do that. Let us once again head over to the supply section and get some fabric that we need. I've actually been digging in here a bunch this week because I've been making some masks. And look at that, we've got some denim. I wonder if I have different styles. I do want to find a good match. I think this stuff is too thin for jeans that I actually own. Let's go with this stuff. All right, let's go set it up. So another thing that did inspire this invention was something that happened in my last video that I got called out for a lot. In my selfie sandal video, yes, I had a massive hole in my pants. And a lot of people said I needed to buy some new pants. So today we're gonna make some new pants. But the first thing we need to do is test it out on some fabric. Because I've only used my glow forts to laser cut and engrave things like wood, acrylic, and those types of materials, I'm gonna take this extra piece of denim I have and laser test out a whole bunch of different settings. So I'll pretty much just have like test full power, test 90% power, test 70% power, test 40% power. So I can figure out exactly what the best settings are gonna be used for the fabric so that I don't mess up the pair of jeans that I have. So let's go hop into the Glow Forge and start laser testing these settings. So here we have all four tests, so let's go and check them out and see which one's gonna work best. But let's also take a second to check out this self haircut I did. Not too bad if you're asking me. All right, let's get back to the engravings. So right off the top, you can see that the 95% and the 75% went completely through the denim. And I'm not trying to show any skin here. So those ones are definitely gonna have to be out. Then moving down to the 55, it's not too bad, but it definitely cut through in a few parts. And just even using my finger here, it is popping through, which I do not like. But the winner that I think we're gonna have here is this 35% here. It took off just enough of the fabric on top to leave this contrasting design that will definitely pop when you're wearing a pair of jeans. And from there, things really dropped off in the 15% and we're not gonna use that. So now that we have our settings dialed in, what do we need to do for the actual pair of jeans? Today we are going to be making what I'm calling the instructional jeans. Sometimes you just need a little extra help to figure out how you're gonna put on your jeans, what you're gonna put in the pockets. So on the front, we're gonna have all sorts of designs that say like zip up your fly and all that stuff so you know exactly how to put on your jeans every single time the correct way. Because if that's not unnecessary, I really don't know what is. So let's go uh, take a deep dive into the design. So here are a few ideas I have. Of course we wanna make sure we know which is the left and right leg when you're putting your jeans on. And then moving up from there, you gotta make sure you know where's the front, where to put your knees, you know, which side is up, and what you're exactly supposed to do. Then going up to the top, you know, we gotta know what to put in each pocket, like your phone, your keys. Remember to zip your fly, that is very, very important. And then it's pretty much the same drill for the back. You gotta make sure you know which side it is, where to put your wallet, you know, maybe tell people to stop looking at your butt, some instructions for your belt, and I'm sure I'll come up with some other ideas, but this is a good starting point. So let me take some of those ideas, hop into my computer, I'll design them, and then we'll get our first print engraving on our actual instructional jeans. Let's go. Oh 
Okay, we've got our first set of designs all finished up and ready to go. Now all we have to do is start lasering them onto our pair of jeans. I can't lie that I am a little bit nervous because I only get one try with each design. I gotta get the placement right, I gotta get the settings right. I always forget to do that. I always forget to change the settings. Set it to 35%. I think the very first thing that I'm going to do is the iPhone pocket right here that says iPhone goes here. So let's jump into the Glowforge and start shooting some laser beams at our pair of jeans. That rhymed. Okay, now that I actually am going to hit print, I'm kind of nervous. I really, really don't want to mess up the first one, but here we go. Oh! Okay, so I think that things are going okay so far inside the Glowforge. And I think the settings and everything are looking pretty good. All right, now all we have to do is wait for this to finish up and we'll take a look. All right, we are done. Let's see how these came out. Okay, all right, not bad. So one thing I didn't take into consideration when we were doing the test versus the jeans itself is that this is not completely flat like the piece of denim was before. Also, there was a little bit of movement with the pocket because there is airflow going through the Glowforge. So the bottom came out really good, but then you sort of get this ombre effect where the top of the pocket got a little bit closer and it burned a little bit darker. I don't think it's horrible. I think it came out pretty good. I now know those couple of things. This took about 20 minutes to do. So I'm gonna touch base once I have a few more of the designs done on the jeans and we can review how things are going across our entire instructional jeans. I would say I would wear these in public, but there's no one to see me wearing them in public. So one day these will make a debut. All right, let's get back into some more laser beams and get some more designs on these jeans. That also rhymed. We've got jeans and they look pretty good. Okay, we are working with our first set of instructions on our instructional jeans and everything is looking pretty good. Similar to the iPhone that we did earlier, there were a few hangups here and there where the jeans just weren't quite sitting flat and you got a bit of a different texture of burning, but I don't think it's too bad. Let's take a look at some of the designs we did. Over on this side, of course you need to know which direction to go, so you need to pull your pants upward. And below there, just a quick reminder that this is the front of the pants, not the back of the pants, it's the front of the pants. See that little weird fifth pocket that jeans have? I added a little do not use, because honestly, who's gonna use that pocket? Above that, we have a nice little place on your hips so that you know exactly where the top of the jeans are supposed to sit. Then over near the fly where it says zip your fly, we did have a little bit of an issue of some burning through there. Not quite sure what happened. But, you know, it gives a little texture, gives a little pizzazz. Then over on the other pocket, it has a nice little thing telling you that is where you can access your pocket from. And so you don't get them mixed up with your phone, you gotta put your keys in this pocket. It is very important that you don't put them in the other pocket, you put your keys in this pocket. <laughs> and down a little bit lower, we have wear pants this side up. You don't wanna wear your pants upside down, so wear them this side up. And just so that people don't get confused, let people know that these are the property of the person wearing your jeans. So with that look at some of the instructions that we already have going on, I do wanna make a quick note. If you're enjoying what this Glowforge is capable of, you can go ahead and go check out the link in my description and you can get up to $500 off a of Glowforge. That's right, you could do projects just like this with your very own Glowforge. Go check out my referral link down in the description, up to $500 off your Glowforge. All I have to do now is add a few more things like the left and right I wanna put on the bottom, a few more things on the butt, and then I think we're all set. And maybe we'll just do a strut down the runway. I do have some of my high heelies. You know, I'm not quite good at walking in high heels yet, but you know, get a little training wheels on here, and maybe we can uh, strut our stuff. So let's finish this up over on the Glowforge and call this an invention, a success. My walk needs a little bit of work. And so do the design of these pants because we're busting out in a few places. 
when I actually went to go put them on, a few of the seams did rip a little bit more, but you know, I think it kind of gives it a little bit more character. Like look at this one down here. This one ripped a lot, but I think it's kind of cool. I said I wasn't gonna be showing skin, but look at me now. I know one other thing that will complete this entire look, and it's something else that I've made this week. One sec. That's right, I've been making something necessary. I've been making a few masks, keeping everyone safe. They're pretty badass looking. One other addition I made to the pans is pick your wedgie here. That is a very important thing that you need to learn how to do. And down here on the bottom, we've got the left leg and the right leg. Look at that right leg. All right, here's a slow motion pan of the jeans and the laser, ooh, we got some skin. And the laser beam patterns. Zip your fly. Not too bad. It kind of reminds me of like tattoos. They're like tattooed up pants. I'm digging them. I'm liking them. Okay, let me take my pants off so we can get a better look at them. There we have the instruction pants on how to wear pants using our custom laser beams. This one really got messed up. Overall, I think this was a great first test using the Glowforge to laser etch on denim. I think the main thing I need to do is just decrease the power so that you can't cut through all the way. Like the knees down here, I thought they were a little bit higher up, so I decreased that down to 20%, and it's not gonna rip there whatsoever. Paris, runway, here I come. The Maddie Benedetto collection is coming spring 2030. As you can see behind me, I have my little photo shoot area set up, so I'm gonna take some official product photos for the instructional jeans. And of course, you can go head on over to Instagram to check out the official product photos and videos for this brand new unnecessary invention. If you enjoyed watching me make this runway worthy invention, be sure to go smash that subscribe button. While you're down there, go give me a big thumbs up. I really like the de-stress look that it gave. It might decrease the amount of time that I'm actually gonna be able to wear these, but the official rating for this invention is gonna have to be 10 Canadian tuxedos out of 10. A Canadian tuxedo is when you wear denim, top to bottom, jacket, shirt, pants, all that stuff, yeah. Well, I think that's all I have for this invention, so I'm gonna go not put my pants back on, and I will see you at the next invention. See ya!